What's up guys, Adrian Jr. here with Sensei Outdoors. And in today's video, as you guys can see, we got some nice tilapia with the bow. I uh, took up my uncle and a friend out bow fishing for the first time. And they both had an awesome time and caught some nice tilapia and stuff. We also got a couple bass and just had a great time. So stay tuned and enjoy. That was awesome, beautiful day. All right guys, so before I get into this video, I know a lot of you guys are gonna have questions, so I'm gonna take a little bit of time to hopefully answer those before we get into it. Uh, a lot of you guys are gonna ask about my gear and just about the tilapia overall. And the tilapia are an invasive species overall, and this the gear I'm using today is an AMS bow fishing kit. Everything I'm using, links are down in the description if you guys wanna check out the exact setup I'm using. These AMS bow fishing kits, I really recommend you guys pick one of these up. Uh, if you guys have a bow, they even sell some with them already connected to the bow. So you guys can just bow fish like that. But this is my just uh, my old hunting compound bow, uh, about 40 pound draw. That, that seems to work for us really well. Okay, there's only about a one month period when you can shoot these things. And it's in full force right now as of the day this video posts. It's full force, they're shallow, they're everywhere right now. And uh, when, this, when we filmed this, there wasn't as many. But the reason why this one month period is so good to get these tilapia is because they, they come up to the spawn and they go super shallow, maybe like a foot or less of water, most of them, super shallow and you can just go up there. So one thing you definitely need is, I mean, a bow. I would really recommend a bow. Some people can catch them with peas and stuff, but uh, I've never personally had success with that. I've, I've always figured it's just a lot easier to use my bow. I, I really recommend also you guys get some polarized sunglasses. Uh, in this video, we also mentioned it. It's super hard to see stuff without the sunglasses. If I get 500 likes on this video, I'll tell you, I'll post another bow fishing video right away, right when it hits it. So if it happens today, tomorrow, whenever, if it hits 500 likes, it's gonna go out uh, live for you guys to watch also. Other than that, I mean, these things are super invasive. So Endow actually encourages you and they want you to get out and actually harvest these tilapia because they just, they're devastating. Not really devastating, but they mess with a whole lot of the other animals, including um, endangered species in the lake also. So. If you guys want to, Lake Mead's just covered in tilapia right now, super shallow. You just go to the coves that are green, real shallow, and you should see them back there. He just Beautiful. shot his first tilapia. Oh my nice. god, that's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> really? Oh man, bro. That's it's a, a big one. Too. He just got a five pound tilapia. Seriously. Oh my god. Woo! That's a nice one. Holy wow. cow. Dang, that's awesome. Look at this thing. Holy cow. Congrats. Are you filming that? that that's hard. Yeah. That's, that's a that's huge nice one. Show them how to take it off, Adrian. Uh, yeah, how to take the thing off. Punch you got to punch it through. All right, how much is it? Mike got his first tilapia. Oh, my God. 469. 469, bro. All in. It's going 470. 4.71. 4.65. 4.65. Yeah, either way, it's and over four and a half pounds. Right that here. thing, you turn it this way, Adrian, let me see it. He bled out, about, he bled half out about a half a pound. Oh, yeah. so he was, yeah, he was probably almost five. Yeah, that, that was thing is huge. You want to take a picture holding it? Yeah. Let's go. Manual. <laughs> Hey, that's your first shot right now, right? Yeah. You, took that, you needed that break. You needed that break after 50 oh, shots. Oh, hey, be careful. Oh, I'm gonna pull him in real quick. Pull. He might come off. Ooh. Oh, he's big too. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, dang, man. These are big ones we're shooting today. Man, we'll have to get the weight is, of that one too. This is incredible. That bro, one's probably... Bro, you gotta go again. My brother's, <laughs> my brother's out here visiting from Phoenix and he Ooh, just... Yeah. Slayed the tilapia of a lifetime with the bow. Weigh it. 
Alright. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Before it bleeds out. <laughs> no. Those things That's are monstrous. Bro, oh, that is so big. Man. Here we go. Put it in Missy's mouth. Alright, let's see. Oh, that one's pretty big. Oh, he broke five. Really? Yeah. 5.09. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> Probably about the same as the one you got too. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah bleeding out. out, but yeah, we got him while he didn't bleed. Open up, man. Here we go. Throw him in there, bro. Yeah, just throw so him. <laughs> wow, that is sick. That cool. So, real quick update. Uh, by this point, we had a couple tilapia already. In between my uncle and Mike, they had to miss probably about a thousand shots each, but we we kind of expected that. Because uh, when you first start bow fishing, this is a little piece of advice for anybody getting into it. You're going to miss a lot of shots. It's kind of hard to learn where to aim. You always want to aim below. And we always tell people you got to aim you gotta aim so low that it looks like you're being dramatic about it. And just make sure you don't shoot your feet. That's how low we want you to shoot. And <laughs> it's always funny. I mean, it works uh, sometimes when we're teaching people how to bow fish. But also, while we were bow fishing... Uh, Mike had brought up he hasn't caught a fish in like 10 years so my dad thought that was crazy and he suggested we go out bass fishing just for like a little bit of time because uh, bass fishing's hot at Lake Mead also right now and everybody was uh, agreed with it so we went out bass fishing and right off the bat I caught like five and Mike still hadn't caught one yet so my dad actually throws him on his favorite rig the drop shot rig with like this little um, fish looking bait it was like a little fish plastic I think it was chartreuse and he actually caught his um, first bass. I think it was his first bass ever and his first fish in like 10 years. He was super happy about that. And other than that, we were having a great time. Go ahead and enjoy this footage right now of us catching some bass. Caught a nice little two pounder right here, nice large mouth. It was crazy, I was fishing my uh, chigger curls like I usually fish on the Texas rig. But I was doing on my cast and I was just burning it in across the top. And those things are cool because they're two little flippers almost look like a buzz bait on the top. Middle of the day, what is it, probably 95 degrees. And just smacked one. Maybe not 95, but you get the point. It's like one o'clock. Just smashed, smashed it on top water practically on a jig. You bet you haven't heard of that. <laughs> Let me see. There was a chaser. I almost caught two on the I was stuck in a weed right there. Got another nice little bass. So I almost hooked up two on the same jerk bait. Like <laughs> two of them. I almost caught two on the same jerk bait, but the other one was right there trying to steal it, and I hooked him up for a second, but he got off. This is a nice dude. They got nice bellies on them. They probably haven't spawned yet. We're gonna go ahead and let this this guy go. Also, see if we can't get some more, a couple more fish slap. Oh, he's hey, his first up. fish. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> how many years? Right. How many years has it been? Oh my gosh, like ten years. <laughs> nice, <laughs> really Beautiful. nice smallmouth. Help him undo it, Adrian. If okay. that hook comes out, it'll rip your arm off. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I love it. There's a lot of space on it. First time out here bow fishing. It was awesome. He's never done anything like that before. That was so sick. He knew all the spots, man. It's a beast. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. It's so much fun. Nice experience being able to bow fish and once you land one, drill it in, it's cool. It's really exciting. Look at those things. They're huge. Lake Mead has some of the biggest tilapia in the in the US. Five, six pounders come out of here like nothing. Alright, we're gonna go and fry these things up. So we had a great day out here. These tilapia, a lot of people don't know it, but they they just get huge in Lake Mead and there's a lot of them out here. So links are down in the description to see everything we use so you guys can actually come out here and do this yourself. These tilapia, I would say, are some of the biggest in the world because when you buy them from the, from the store, they're like that big. But you guys can come out here and do this yourself. I mean, it, it, there's a big learning curve to bows, but 
you'll, you'll get it down. So I encourage you guys to come out here. These are invasive species. They actually encourage you to kill these in Lake Mead. You're, it's actually illegal to let them go. So go ahead. I encourage you guys to come and try it yourself. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you outdoors. Did you have Sick, fun? bro. That was awesome. Beautiful day. Look at that. You have fun, right, man? I had a good time, and see you outdoors.